welcome back to my channel. I was going to do a bonus on it, but I said I wasn't going to talk about it. But I changed my mind. <clears throat> I'm going to give it a separate view. Pretty much going to do it pretty much high to the other one. Show you the boxing. Took the figure out of the packaging and everything. Um, this is a much older figure from a much older WWE line. I did buy it from Ollie's right there. That's the price I got it for. $9.99. It was regularly retail from, I think, Ollie from $15.99. I don't know if you can say it clearly. There you go. Um, it's from the leak collection. Um, <clears throat> is the figure we're going to be talking about is Nikki Cross. So at that time period, not no more. So this is our first time in the line right there with an entrance gear on. I was going to take an entrance gear off of her, but I said, no, I want to show you how she looks when she's in the packaging. Here's the other figures you can get in the line right there. You can get Nikki Cross, Kurt Angle, AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, Roman, and also you can get Luke Harper. Bro, rest his soul. I wish he was around with us today. Um, there we go, right there. All the rest of the stuff right there. Bam, bam, bam. This, like I said, all we got to figure out the packaging. Here she goes. This is how she's gonna look. This is how she's gonna look in the packaging. I think it was kind of cool. I like the gimmick that she did. She did also a lot of other gimmicks. Did gimmick that she also did. Um, she did a gimmick where she. Um, I don't, I don't remember exactly what other how, gonna go. How she did it, did him. She did a gimmick where she played like a female superhero. I, I actually I actually did like that one. She also played where she played like a, um the dark version of that superhero. Um, she put this is where she also started, but she was also I think she might just got out NXT and everything. Do we have a body on there? How tall and stuff she is? Um, yeah, here it goes right here. I'm gonna go to the bio real quick. Um, let me show you if we have a bio. I can get if I can read that. You can all see that. Well, I'm gonna read it to you. Um, she's from um, she's from she's from she is Scottish. She's five feet tall. On here, she's where she she they got her a weight. Um, and uh, right there, um, what um, that's pretty much about her bio. Yeah, she, she is Scottish, and you can really hear it. So this is how she's going to come out of the packaging. I'm going to pause, come away. I'm going to take all this stuff about, um, get off her. You can see how the figure look about the get on. I think it looks kind of cool. She gives me that more to me person, that Mad Max, or that, or that in the world apocalypse type look. So I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. And if you do, you know what you're going to be missing. All right, guys, I got everything out of the packaging. Um, I'm gonna show you stuff now. This piece right here is not a separate piece, it's all more than one piece right there. Um, <clears throat> here's the glasses that she comes with. These glasses give me that burnness type look right there. There's the glasses, and here's the jacket. The jacket's a very soft piece. Um, if I'm no, somebody can state me right. Is that the British? Is that the Scottish flag? I'm not sure. If it is, just tell me in the comments. I don't know. Um, there's the back of it, um, right there. I forgot to show you that. I like the jacket and everything, and everything. So here's the figure. Um, I think it looks like it a little bit. I really do. There's how she looks. This piece right here's a softer piece right there. It's very very soft. Be, be careful of it. You might can tear it if you want to. Um, she do got cuts and stuff in her pants and her jeans. She do got a nice star section all the way around. Also on the back side and also here. You know, um, it doesn't look like she got pinless, does look like she do have pinless knees, but legs, but she do have pins, but let's say they're double, they're single legs. A lot of articulation, I hate this, even with Hasbro, whatever company it is, they always take away from articulation. Um, she does have the fist hand, there's no, her hands is not on the hinge or nothing, so the only thing they're going to do is super around. Right there. Now this arm right here is giving me an issue. If you look real closely on this arm, it's this is about as far as I can get into the peg. If I want to, I can pop that sucker off. Um, this arm is much further closer up. As you see, how much closer to closer to the shoulder, where this one's not. I'm gonna see if I can ball and pop. Maybe I can get it to go further up. Um, she do have double um single elbows. There's single only got the one pin. As you can see right there. Um. 
I like the figure. Uh, and do have also two pegs over the, at the bottom. Um, she have an upper chest weight, weight, weight rotation, upper chest. The, all this part is one piece. Um, she do nice. She does have nice splits. Um, she do have we can go forward and backwards, and she have a thigh swivel. And the foot, her, actually her ankles move just a little bit more better than the normal ones. So all around, cool figure. I like it. I like she was the first time in her lineup. Um, I wish I wish this was when they were doing changeable hands. I wish they probably put. The only downside I have about this figure is um, I don't like the hands because they're not on the hinge. I wish they was on the hinge. Uh, what else I don't like about this fig figure? Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, um, so everybody have a good day. Good night. Enjoy your collection. I'll talk to y'all guys later. The next time we be with the honey man, whatever it may be on, and be safe out there, guys.